Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. That's going to be great. Essential, I reckon. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. You'll be very pleased with this. Smart addition. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. See ya. Well, sounds plain to know. Hope you put all that troublemaking behind you now. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. 
Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the... Nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
in time I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water uh why not oh you're a good man a good man <gasps> Okay. <laughs> Go easy, boy. Come on. Whoa, easy. And what is Thelonious Monk? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Uh, gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? <sighs> I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then... Make up your mind! Chelonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! I don't have to answer to you! Sorry! They're just you!
Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yep. Just stop and let's talk about this. your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Yeah. That gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm I'm gonna I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. 
I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. We going in then? You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall.
Let's go, boy. Who's there? Arthur, dumbass. Leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Yeah, that's what you mean. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. You and Mary Beth have been so worried about you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. You yeah, have beautiful hearts. Really, you do. I don't know about that. Did you see that woman Mary Gillis about? Yes. Yes, I did. I never liked her. I know. You already told me that. Ideas above her station. Above anyone's station, that one. Arthur? Miss Karen, how you getting up? Okay, boy. Evening, Arthur. medicine or a siphon <sighs> oh, oh. all right all right quit moaning Christ. oh oh god <laughs> let's keep this between us oh you saved my life i owe you got that right i do oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Oh, God. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Yep.
Whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me. Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. Be reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> Then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
sure old Dutch has led us into a scrape, but we're going to be fine. I was telling one of those lovely ladies just now, hey, don't cry, sugar, I told her, because they like that. Anyway, don't cry, I said. Uncle loves you, and one day, you won't be no $3 whore. You're going to be a, a $5 whore or a housemaid. Them's dreams. Of course, you boys and I know that ain't never going to happen. She'll die on her back at the hand of some monster in the back room of some no-name saloon. <laughs> sure as shit is brown. But it damn near made her day. And she's out there smiling, so, so cheer up. That's all I'm saying. and said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelden tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said, when it was convenient, to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Okay, okay, keep your hair off. 